Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome to another 20 Minutes Till Dawn video. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hopefully you are doing well. Today, we are going to be playing the Holy Arts Shotgun Spark build again for like the 800th time. But there's a there's a difference this time. We are going to be adding the, uh, shoot, what's it called? The Arrow Perk Tree. The Wind Perk, Gale, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be adding that one into the mix here as well. Now... Before I get too far in the video, I just want to mention that uh, the day this is being uploaded, uh, Sunday, 11:20, uh, uh, I am going to be doing a live stream over on Twitch. We're not playing 20 minutes till dawn, so if you're only interested in 20 minutes till dawn content, you can you know you can tune this out. We're going to be doing a live stream over there, so if you want to swing by and say hi, you know feel free. Uh, I'll give you a peek at the rune page here. Pretty normal stuff here, nothing too crazy. Now, if you're not familiar with the uh, we're gonna go to the forest, by the way, here too. A little, you know. We're drinking. We're, we're not trying to get a super high kill count here. I just want to see if the build works, basically. Um. But I forgot what I was going to say. Um. But yeah, we're gonna be doing a stream, uh, over over at Twitch today. If you're interested in coming to check it out, say hi, whatever. I will be there from roughly like six to ten, maybe ten thirty is thirty ish. Uh, PM Eastern Standard Time. So, if you are interested in that, maybe swing by. If not, no, no hard feelings. Don't worry about it. Getting some pretty good perks here right off the bat, which is nice to see. Um, I'm gonna be playing. I should talk about it a little bit more on the stream. I'm gonna be playing. Oh god, I just ate some soup, now I'm burping, what the heck? Um... I'm gonna be playing Kaizo, Kaizo Ironmon on the stream. If you're not familiar with it. I did make a video a little while ago about it, but I shouldn't assume everyone here has seen the video, obviously. Um, it's basically a... A really difficult Pokemon challenge run. It uses... It, you do it on any game. I'm playing it on a Fire Red, because it's the most popular game to play it on. And I'm a conformist. Um... But it's, it's, it's Pokemon Fire Red, randomized, so all of the Pokemon are random, wild Pokemon, trainer Pokemon, etc., gym leaders, the starting Pokemon at the beginning of the game, everything's random. But then, all of your opponent's Pokemon's level are raised by 50%. Um, so it uh, makes the game considerably harder. Move pools are randomized, stats are randomized, which is pretty interesting. That's kind of like the really interesting thing to me, at least, is that Pokemon's stats are random too. Uh, they still they still retain their typing and their base stat total, which if you don't know what that means, you know, don't worry about it, right? Um, but it's it's the chaos, the run is chaos, and it's really interesting. So uh, if you want to come check that out. There's, you know, there's always a link in my videos to my Twitch channel, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So there's this, this new build here, predictions for me, at least, I don't think it's going to do as well as just the normal, the normal spark build, because I think, I think throwing in the, uh, the arrow magic, which by the way, here it is, by the way, arrow magic. Um, I think throwing in the arrow magic is just a little, a little too many hats. One too many hats, I guess. I don't know. Hat and a hat. I forget the, the, the saying, but you get the, you get what I'm saying here, right? Uh, if you can read the perk here, uh, you know, it, you shoot out a tornado every time you shoot your last shot, which is uh, more or less the same as, you know, smite tree when you reload. Um, it deals 10 damage every 0.5 seconds, so 2 damage ticks a second. Uh, we have Windborn, which move speed converts into damage for Gale. If I have this one, which is an, a Smite-esque AoE every two seconds, and then Arrow Master just increases the flat damage. All right, we'll be taking it here because again, we want to check out the new perks. We want to see we want to see how strong they can be. Uh, I've I've been I've been trying to see just for my own my own sake if this is a super meta option. The conclusion I've come to is no far so, no so far. I was playing a bit on Pumpkin Patch earlier today, because apparently Pumpkin Patch is the new is the new meta for getting high kills, according to none other than Mr. Jeffrey Gray. Uh, 
who's been really really pushing the the kill count meta hard which is cool to see um but uh he according according to him right now his best build that he has at least, at least most consistent high kill count build he's been using is I, oh, I forget which character it is i mean he might have not even said but it's it's bat gun it's a bat gun build that specifically uses uh Kunoichi and Magic Lens, which is really interesting. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I, I think I'll be doing a video for that probably pretty soon too to give it a test, see how well it works. This is a pretty good perk, by the way. Um, but yeah, I want to give it a try. It seems neat. Uh, Windborn? I, I like Take Aim a lot. Honestly, I'm taking Take Aim first here, I think. Uh. So, yeah. Basically, I was trying to, I was trying to run this same build, more or less, on Pumpkin Patch, and it was not working well. Uh, it really struggled mainly to kill the boss, the, the five-minute boss. It was really tough to do it without uh, Frostbite. So I don't I don't know, and frostbite. If you didn't know, great perk if you're trying to win the game. Not a great perk if you're trying to get a super high kill count because it it will generally, it will, it will lower your overall kills because it freezes enemies out of reach from you usually, and then you have to walk over and kill them. It's a whole thing. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I guess it is here or there because we are talking about that right now i don't know i don't know um so one thing i can talk about is my day so far it's been very boring i woke up found out that i had no signups for uh work today give me i mean i like arrow master but give me pyro pyro mage because we do need to start working on fire starter for uh overload so i woke, found out i had no signups for work today so we, we, we canceled we canceled all sessions. If you don't know, I've mentioned it many times in videos, but again, something important that I shouldn't assume people do know. Um, uh, I work I work in the activities department of a hotel. Uh, predominantly, right now they have me handling the axe throwing. I'm I'm the axe throwing guy. I throw axes at a wall. Um, Justice is fine here, but honestly, give me Power Shot first, I think. Which is pretty important for this run. But yeah, right now, right now, uh, I mean, running Axe Throwing, I help out with Archery as well sometimes. And some other, you know, various stuff. Uh, most recently, they had me work on uh, Rock Climbing, which is pretty cool. But... Um... Sorry, I'm in the gamer zone here for a second. Just trying to kill the dog. Anyway, so yeah, so lately I've been axe throwing. Uh, it's gotten really cold lately. And not really cold, it's gotten as cold as it's supposed to be, I would say. But people really aren't acclimated to it yet. So I think that's kind of uh, swayed some people away from signing up for, for axe throwing. Uh, give me the Tome of Elements here, I guess. It's kind of it's kind of boring. You know, I should have taken the Tome of Speed actually to really play into the the Gale here. That's my that's my bad. I didn't want to lower the damage of Smites, but we don't even have Holy Might yet, so it wouldn't even affect Smite right now. I don't know. That's a coward move by me. I should take the Speed upgrade. Really see what uh, the Gale is capable of doing. Hmm. Anyway, give me a little fuselade action, sure. Mm. So yeah, I woke up, didn't have work, sat around, did nothing, started recording for YouTube. Here we are now. That's it. Nothing super exciting. Nothing super interesting. Very boring. Um, hopefully you're having a more exciting day. Oh, we have mini clay. We have holy might here too. 
But you gotta go mini clip. Yeah. Very easy pickup for sure. Pretty decent sequencing on the on the pickups as well here. Getting mini clip this early is pretty sick. Uh, maybe this does have some potential for a high kill cat, right? Because we can just put out so many tornadoes, and if the tornadoes are capable of uh, of one shotting like weak mobs like this, it could be pretty good, I think. But I don't know. I don't know. Give me, I guess, vitality here. You know, we're already investing into. Uh, we're already investing into move speed upgrades for pumping up the gale damage. It might not hurt to also just take uh, evasion. That might be a pretty good choice. I don't know. Hard to, hard to say. Uh, I got a snuffy nose. Hold on. <laughs> mm, okay, we're good. Here they, here they start to come now, okay. Now we can get a real sense for how much Gale is killing, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching it, like two tornadoes back to back will pretty much just kill these mobs. So that's good. Pick up some experience here. Uh, give me the arrow mastery. Sure, that sounds fun. Okay. Give me haste. Again, damage increase for the tornadoes. Definitely electro mastery for sure. Maybe this is maybe this is the meta. Maybe this is the truth, right? Maybe Gale is just the most busted perk in the game now. Yeah, it might. You know what? I wouldn't be shocked if this is just better than than Smite as far as damage output. Just pumping up your move speed, fully upgrading arrow magic, and then just doing the the spark uh, shotgun mini clip cheese where you reload a million billion times because of the the ammo regeneration. I can see this being very strong. Hmm. Anyway. What else to talk about? I, I kind of, I'm sorry to say, I kind of don't have much to talk about in this video, I feel like. I don't know. I came into this one kind of empty to begin with. Anything cool to talk about? Uh, Twitter. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. The demise of Twitter is pretty fun to look at. Uh, oh, Overload here. Perfect. I forgot we were even looking for that, even though the last, like, two perks I took were both Overload-related perks. Um... I guess give me divine blessing is a move speed boost actually so yeah give me that I guess. Um. Yeah I don't know. Twitter's pretty interesting. That whole thing's a shit show. It's been fun to watch. I don't have super strong feelings about it one way or the other. I'll give you a big shot here I guess. I don't have super strong feelings about it one way or the other. Um, it is very funny to me that a billionaire spent a huge portion of his of his personal wealth and a lot a lot of bank loans basically to give me this I guess I don't know to to buy a company that he is immediately just destroying just burning to the ground that's pretty cool but I don't know I don't really use Twitter so I don't have strong feelings about it I do have a Twitter. But all I ever do there is like really unfunny shit posts, 
And by that, I mean just like low effort, like not very good. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't care. Twitter can die. It doesn't bother me. Hopefully, like Facebook goes next. That, that's what my that's my dream right now. My dream is that Facebook dies next, so that way someone else can buy uh, Oculus from them, and they can save Oculus. Cause I'm a big I'm a you know I'm a, I'm a I'm a big VR fan. I have an Oculus headset. Uh, I don't like that they're calling it like the Meta headsets now. That's annoying. Um, these all suck. I guess give me magnetism out of all of these, but there's all bad perks. Um, yeah, I don't like that other be called meta now. That's annoying to me. I would like to be able to uh, not be afraid that that's going to, you know, absolutely tank. Well, I guess that's what kind of what I am asking for, huh? I don't know. Either, either way, I don't trust Facebook to do a good job with VR. And I want them to fail miserably so someone else can buy Oculus and do a good job, basically. That's what I would prefer to have happen. Meta, I, and, and what I will say, as, as a, a big VR fan, the metaverse is a concept that I think is interesting. But the, what, what Facebook is doing is just VR chat, which already exists. And they're pretending like it's going to be some sort of crazy new innovation and it's just the stupidest shit ever. So that upsets me. I wish someone else was doing it, basically, because they would actually do something correct. And instead, Facebook spent billions of dollars or whatever to make a worse VR chat. I don't understand why. Um, I feel like I feel like someone we're working there must know about VR chat, right? I, I the way I imagine it, I imagine the split is like. The, the super high up execs have no idea what VR chat is and everyone's too afraid to tell them. And then there's probably people working on the metaverse who are just doing their best to copy and paste off of uh, VR chat. That's more or less how I imagine it is going down. But I, that, that, that's probably foolish of me to think. More likely, it's the higher up execs who see VR chat and are doing their best to secretly copy it. And then just demanding the developers do that, even though they probably have interesting, cool ideas that they just can't do because they're being asked to do stupid shit instead. That's more realistically how it's going down. But I don't know. It is interesting to me, at least. And it's a, it is a shame that my VR is so uh, expensively priced. It would be cool if uh, it was more affordable, I guess, obviously. Sure, give me a recharge. I don't know, maybe we'll get a generator on this run too, which does nothing for us, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know. There isn't a real solution to, uh, to making VR more accessible. Mainly because the technology also just fucks a lot of people up, right? Like, I, I have really much, I pretty much no motion sickness problems. I can, I can put on the headset, and I can do pretty much any game with any settings, and it doesn't mess me up. But I understand that a lot of people get nauseous playing uh, any game in VR, basically, which is, it is a shame. But. Man, there are some good, like, Half-Life Half Alex was my game of the year, whatever year that game came out in. I think it was, I think it was 2020, but at this point my brain is broken, I don't know. Maybe it was 2021, I don't know. But that game was incredible, and I loved it. Half-Life Alex was so good, but so many people don't get to play it. And they have to watch, like, a, a Let's Play of it instead, which is a nightmare. Because I don't know if you've ever tried watching uh, a Let's Play of someone, of someone playing a VR game. It's fucking terrible because, I don't know if you know this, people's heads move around a lot. And every every subtle movement your head makes shakes the camera like you're fucking going crazy. Honestly, these all suck. Give me, give me evasive. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I actually saw one VR game that I checked out one time that had like a setting 
that was like that was made like like you know streamer mode or something like that. And what it specifically did in streamer mode was that it tried to smooth out like uh, head movements uh, for the for the capture display, which is really interesting. Now the game unfortunately was not that good, uh, but that was a really interesting uh, concept to me to make like the head movements less jarring for a uh, viewing audience. Okay, we need to kill Shogi here. Hmm. There's generator, which is worthless, but these all suck. <laughs> sure, whatever. Doing a little dodging. And Shogath, hard to kill when you don't have Frostbite, huh? Hello, Terry. How's it going? Oh, there goes my shield. Unfortunate. I've been hit. I've been hit. Mayday, mayday. I'm going down. Okay, Shogi, Shogi confirmed dead. He's never coming back. Give me the Toma speed. Well, honestly, at this point, fuck, fuck Smite. Give me Toma speed. Terry, you're going down too, by the way. I'm hitting him with the tornadoes. Um. Yeah, well, what else can I ramble about for about five more minutes? Or actually about three more minutes here, huh? What else can I ramble about? I don't know. There's Nimble, which is a speed boost. But I'll take Assassin here, for sure. Um. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I can kind of do here? I can kind of use the trees as infinite fodder to, to hit to trigger lightning to generate more tornadoes. That's kind of interesting, I think. Not that interesting, though, I suppose, huh? Uh, talked about Twitter. Talked about meta. Anything, anything going on with Jeff lately? I don't know, does Twitch, Twitch have anything crazy going on? I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, give me... Anger points here, I suppose. We have a lot of XP on the ground we should try to pick up here, probably. Okay, at this point, give me Nimble, I suppose. Uh, Tiny doesn't seem that useful here. I guess Reaper rounds is fine. Penetration. Uh, Angelic, I guess, for for potentially getting Titan. I'll take in the wind here. Out of these. Running gun does not add extra bloat to the pool, so we'll take that. Okay, you know what I can do actually? Oh, look at this actually. This is actually gonna be cool, I think. Check this out. Um, these all suck. Oh, give me lightning bugs. Let's realize I can do a little bit of this here and just circle all the trees dead. I was gonna say, I can circle the tree, firing off tornadoes. Like, let me try again. Let me try with this one. If I circle the tree, I'm just firing tornadoes in random directions. Also, I lost my shield, what the hell? And the tornadoes will kill for me. I've been hit, oh God. Yeah, let's stop doing that. Let's actually kill the enemies, huh? Then the tornado thing was kind of a cute idea, but I don't think it, in practice it actually works that well. Okay, give me give me reflex here, so maybe I don't end up losing this entire run and dying. That could be kind of cool. 
We might just have enough move speed to have infinite dodge here, huh? I would test it out, but we only have two HP, so a, a, a melee hit or whatever does just kill us if it works. Anyway. There's Kunoichi. This does nothing for us, though. Honestly, give me soothing warmth. Okay, let's see. Do we dodge? Dodge. Dodging. Dodging. Oh, we took damage. We took damage. We're not invincible. We can be hurt. Good, good to know. We shouldn't be fucking with that because technically we do have it in the wind. So when we take damage, we are losing our speed buff, which lowers the damage of our, our tornadoes in addition to this, the normal damage buff we're losing. But you get the idea. Uh, our regeneration top me off, baby. This is actually gonna be a pretty good kill count. We're at a pretty high level here. We got a lot of XP just laying on the ground too. I'm 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 thinking we're in like a 20k kill marker here on this one, something like that. One last level, huh? Frost Mage, perfect timing. What are we looking at here, kill wise? Only 16k. Damn, never mind. I suck. But anyway, that's that's the new that's the new Gale perk. I think it's got some potential for like super high kill count runs, but I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to assess. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you next time. Uh, goodbye.